hello everyone welcome back to another video brought to you by dana's electrical services and in today's video i will be showing you how to make the connection for a three-phase motor or a three-phase water pump or a three-phase vacuum pump i am carrying out this demonstration using a three-phase vacuum pump the principle remain the same for all of them whether it be vacuum pump water pump or motor so first thing you're going to do is check your nameplate to see the type of configuration. So there where you see C-O-N-N -N, and then you see that triangle looking thing right there. That actually means Delta, right? That triangle thing there means Delta. If you see a Y looking configuration or, or symbol, that would mean, it mean it's a Y connection. So first we are going to remove the cover to get to our connection so that is the first thing that we are going to do as you can see we now have access to where our connection is made and this as we saw on the nameplate this uh, vacuum pump or this three phase vacuum pump is connected in delta so this connection that we see right here is the delta connection and if we look in the cover we can see that it is connected in delta uh, let me explain so this connection that you see right here is referred to as the delta connection so we have u1 v1 and w1 that's, that's those are the terminals there that i'm touching u1 v1 and w1 and so if i can just move this right here we can get a better view so you can have a better understanding so there we have u1 v1 and w1 and the entrance side here so u1 v1 w1 and on the other side we have from left we have v2 u2 w2 and that is that is our connection is made u1 to w1 v1 to u2 and w1 to v2 and you guys might wonder why not u1 to u2 v1 to v2 and w1 to w2 i'm going to just going to show you on screen right here what the configuration states are why it is configured in this way when it is in delta connection okay so now i am going to show you why the connection is made in such a way where u1 is connected to w2 v1 is connected to is connected to u2 and w1 is connected to v2 um in the delta configuration so let me go ahead and show you why so let's say we have our three phase in the same way where we would have red yellow and blue we're gonna have u v and w phase so let's go So these are three phase and this is delta uh, apologies for my crappy handwriting so this is our u phase v phase and w phase so we would have u1 u2 v1 v2 w1 and w2 right so we would have our delta connection right and this would be our, our delta configuration all right so let's say this is our u phase this is our v phase and this is our w phase so if this is if right here we have u1 that means up here we would have u2 and this is our v phase so right here we would have v1 
and here we would have v2 for our w phase right here we would have w1 and w2 right so this is our delta connection and if you check that configuration you will see that u1 is connected to w2 right v1 is connected to u2 and w1 is connected to v2 so that is how we get that configuration right so we have u v get our u a little better w right and then yeah so this would be your configuration and that is why we connect them in such a way also important to note that the motor in most cases comes already configured in this manner where you have u1 v1 and w1 right so down here you would have w2 uh, below v1 or across from v1 you would have u2 and here you would have v2 right they normally the the motor or or um water pump or whatever it is they're normally come configured in this way where you can just make the connection right across just like this no need to go crisscross or anything like that it is come pre-configured in this manner right uh sometimes you might see u1 v1 w1 you might see u1 v1 w1 in that whichever direction but still the right um the corresponding one is always across from it right here where you can just make the connection important to note so now we will go ahead and change our motor configuration from our delta connection and we are going to change it now to the y or star connection so watch while i do this now that i remove all the bolts i carefully remove the wires so there i'm removing v1 u1 and w1 about to be removed and as you see i'm being careful with the wire right there don't want to cause any damage to the wires now let me go ahead and remove the opposite side there i'm removing v2 carefully and the, those bars those three bars that you see there that is what we use to make our connection whether we're making the delta or y connection that is what we use to make the connection between the phases depending on the configuration so now how we would make that connection for the y is that all the phases and the as in v2 u2 and w2 we're going to connect them together and you know that we can use two bar and do that and we we'll leave with the extra bar so just go ahead and put the other bar and over any of the other one so there we have it that is pretty much our Y connection and then you can go ahead and use your bolt and make that firm now we're gonna go ahead and remake our connection for our u1 v1 and w1 and at this point this is where we would connect our line so l1 l2 l3 we will connect them right there through that uh connection port right there 
and then we'll make our connection with our three phase three line and connect it to the u1 v1 w1 and of course as you know as i said before if you want to change the direction you will just switch any of those line and it will change the rotation of the motor so we're gonna go ahead tighten our bolts there and when we finish doing this we will break and go to another demonstration and how we come by this connection for the y r star configuration as in the connection where we uh, connect the v1 u2 and w2 so let's break for this now i will be showing you how we get that connection for our y our star connection so now our y and our star connection so we're gonna have our three phase again that's our u phase again b phase final phase is our w phase u1 u2 v1 v2 w1 and w2 right and in y we're gonna have our phases like this looking like a y looking like a y so this will be our u phase our v phase and our w phase and out here we will have u1 right here we'll have u2 out here we will have v1 and here we'll have v2 v2 and w1 and w2 so all of our tools connect are connected together to get our y our star connection so u2 so this is v so v2 u2 and w2 are connected together and then we'll have our phases right or this will actually be our line connection correction that's our line so we have u v w and that will be our and that is how we get our connection right and in the same way or we have it uh u1 v1 w1 and across we have w2 u2 and v2 so we'll just make our connection like this like that just like that you can just put the extra connection on any one of them so yeah we make a connection between v2 u2 and w2 and then we have w1 v1 u1 to connect our line which is l1 l2 and l3 which is which will be connected here from our source so there you have it this is our source right here i must apologize for the crappy and writing yep but i think you guys get the understanding of what is going on here you have it. so this was another video brought to you by dana's electrical services for more and similar videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel dana's electrical services thank you thank you thank you